Hi Lauren, I'm 18 years old, um, I work at Starbucks and I'm a really big K-pop fan. K-pop is a genre of music with, it's like Kore it's Korean music with pop music, but there could be like K-pop, K-rock, things like this. I liked a lot of music on YouTube, so I stumbled across Korean pop music and I like groups like Big Bang, things like that. But like fangirling is maybe more like the feeling you get when a group you really like has like a show on or does like a photo shoot, has a new video out. It's like the feeling of, I guess, happiness and excitement about the group you like a lot. And fandom is more like the, it's a group you belong to of people who like the same kind of music and genre music as you. I think being a fangirl is different than being a casual fan because I think casual fans are more, I guess, more casual about the group they, they like. They're not too bothered about like what maybe goes on, but they still keep in touch with the group. Whereas I think maybe more fangirling, hardcore fans probably will constantly keep updated on the group a lot more than a casual fan would. I think being in a K-pop fan has changed me in a way of how I even like to dress, things I like to do a lot. Like I got like into Korean like fashion, like they wear lots of designer labels, so it's quite expensive. And like eating like Korean food even and like maybe using Korean words in the way you talk as well. So things that I would spend my money on like since joining like a fandom or being into K-pop because they were maybe things like Jeremy Scott trainers or like hood buyer clothes. So like a lot of my money would probably go on like buying expensive things that they wear so I can wear it too. When I go to concerts I'd want the VIP treatment or the VIP tickets so I want to be the front row. They could cost like maybe three or four hundred pounds even. Trainers can cost like a lot of money like with the designers that they wear. I have like limited edition CDs and I collect every CD that they have out and that costs quite a lot of money too. But I've had financial problems from spending quite a lot of my money on a lot of merchandise and other things I do. And I think I have to stay at my job and I've borrowed money off my parents. I don't think it really affects me that much being in the fandom with all the money because it's my own money so and it's something I really enjoy and I want to put all my like effort into I guess. I chose to work instead of studying because I wanted more money, I guess, and to like afford all the things that they have. So I guess I did put up, I put out with education, and I would prefer to work instead. I'd rather not go to school. I would rather stay at work because I feel like the people there would judge me for the things I like. I think maybe I would prefer to work my whole life. Maybe I would study and again in the future if I had a chance. Like I'm motivated of like what I'm doing because K-pop and like the group I like keep me happy. So I'm fine with how I am and like living like this, I guess. I think the craziest thing I've done is I saved up for months and months at my job and I got plane tickets to go to South Korea to try and meet them. When I got there, I waited outside the, the YG building that they work at for in the rain and the cold, but I didn't really mind because I was, at least I was near them, I guess. A lot of people I know who don't know about K-pop usually don't like it so they kind of see it as quite weird and usually say things to me like oh they wear makeup or they look gay things like that so it kind of hurts even a bit but other than that I still don't really care what they think. So I keep up with like K-pop due to like obviously online things like Twitter and watching things on YouTube as well. Twitter is like really was really like fun for me because I didn't really know people in like person who liked K-pop so on Twitter, I could meet people and talk to people about the same things I liked. I feel more comfortable definitely with people online than in real life. Because the people online, at least I know we like the same things and they wouldn't judge me or like physically like affect me in any way. People online and the, like, the online community definitely keeps me to stay online and maybe keeps me more into K-pop because I make friends from it and I'd rather speak to them, I guess, more than people in real life who don't really care about that, the things that I like. Yeah.